In this brief episode of the podcast, I'd like to give you an update about a couple of programs that are coming up you might be interested in for your professional development or for the professional development of the supervisors and leaders and managers on your team. And I also want to give you a lay of the land for where the podcast is going in this next season. I am Vicki Maris. I am the host of the podcast, and I use this format as a way to stay connected with you and to reach out with information about opportunities that are coming for your lifelong learning. I am a consummate lifelong learner. I am fascinated with staying up to date, not only in my professional discipline and my various areas of interest, and also in my life as a musician, but at the same time, I love exploring opportunities that you might be interested in, and the podcast is a great way to share those with you. If you are new to the show, welcome. I am glad you are here. And if you have been one of my longtime listeners, hey, welcome back. I also appreciate that you are here. As I continue with my own lifelong learning, I have become an authorized partner in Everything DISC and the Five Behaviors. Those are two programs that are part of the Wiley portfolio. And when I say authorized partner, what that means is I am a reseller of that content. So if you are looking to have your team take any of the many assessments that are a part of the Everything DISC profile or the five behaviors, either personal or team development, you can purchase those assessments or access to those assessments through me and through my business, Teach, Inspire, Connect. And I am also your conduit for facilitator training. So if you personally would like to become a certified facilitator of everything DISC workplace or management, there are several in the portfolio you can enroll in that training through me. So let me know if you're interested in doing that. I have had the privilege of going through that facilitator training for Everything Disc Workplace on Catalyst. Catalyst is the online platform that Wiley hosts for people to be able to access their assessments. The training is online. You can access it from anywhere around the world And there are new sessions of the various online programs launching each and every month. So if you are interested, let me know. They do fill up pretty quick, so you would want to be thinking two or three months ahead. So for instance, if you're interested in going through the Everything Disc Workplace Facilitator Training, you might want to be planning several months out on your calendar because chances are there would not be space available if you wanted to start within the next week. So give it some thought, look at your calendar, and let me know if you are interested. I would be delighted to help you sign up for one of the future online sessions. I'm going to be taking the facilitator certification for the five behaviors here in just a couple of months. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I'll come back on the podcast and let you know what that experience was like as soon as I have completed it. In upcoming episodes I have planned for you here in this season of the podcast, you will hear my interview with Paul Slaggart. He is one of the instructors who teaches in frontline leadership. The next edition of that program takes place in Indianapolis, September 20th and 21st, 2023. And that particular edition is already full. So if you are looking to send people through that program, it's a wonderful two-day learning experience for supervisors. There will be another one coming in the spring, most likely at the end of April. I'll have those dates for you within the next few weeks. Another program you might want to consider is Developing the Effective Technical Leader. That one is coming in October, October 17th and 18th, 2023. It is taught by Dr. Pete Delisle. And that is another wonderful learning experience. I've had the honor of being a part of these programs for many years. They originally were offered up in South Bend, Indiana, and moved down to the Kelly School of Business at Indiana University. So that one I just mentioned, Developing the Effective Technical Leader, takes place on the campus 
of Indiana University at the Kelly School of Business in Bloomington, Indiana. That one is a two-day experience that is designed for people who are leading technical teams. We usually see a number of engineers from all the many different engineering disciplines in the program. The program also attracts marketers and architects. Sometimes we see people who have already taken the frontline leadership program and are looking for a next level leadership program. They'll take developing the effective technical leader, anyone who's interested in developing further as a leader will find this program to be a real gem. Pete Delisle is such a wonderful instructor and a great facilitator of conversation. So he really brings out the expertise of the others in the room. You'll like that very much when you participate in this program. He also is a very good read about personalities. So if you're someone who would rather not be called upon Pete is not going to put you on the spot. So if that's a concern when you attend a program like that where there is group discussion, know that Pete and the other two instructors of the other program, Paul Slager and Gar Trusley, they all have a lot of experience in the executive education classroom and can read people very well. One of the other areas that I've been doing quite a bit of work in is in process documentation. I've been working with one of my colleagues in the Indianapolis area who is a project management professional and also a Lean Six Sigma black belt like myself. And the two of us have teamed up and have been doing process improvement work and leading group discussions with companies as they are looking to document processes so that they can, in the future, improve their processes. We've been doing quite a bit of that. I look forward to introducing a couple of my colleagues in that space to you here on the podcast. There are some gems that they can share that we all can use, no matter what types of businesses we work in. And many of these things work well simply in organizing our family processes and transactions. I thank you for taking the time to share the podcast out, to subscribe to the show, to leave ratings and reviews. All of those things are helpful in the podcast being lifted higher in search results when other people are looking for shows around this topic area. The other topic areas you might see surface in this season of the show is around uses of silence and meditation in the daily routine. I have found that to be a wonderful addition to my daily routine that has lifted my productivity level and increased my creativity exponentially. I am also a singer, songwriter, and recording artist, and last year released my debut solo album. It's called Another Universe. Many of those songs spilled out of the silence in my daily morning routine. So I am feeling really grateful that I've added it to my day and I'm seeing wonderful results in the creativity and ideas I bring forward as I'm consulting with my clients or as I'm speaking at a conference. It has simply been a wonderful addition to life. So you'll hear me drop some things in here and there in the show around that topic area. If you would like to listen to my other podcast, I have started a show called Making of the Album, Another Universe. And in that show, I interviewed my recording engineer and fellow songwriter who was a co-writer with me on several of the songs, Michael Kelsey, and also my husband, Scott Greason, who was also a co-writer with me on several of the songs and a co-producer of the album. The three of us bantered around the mics about each of the songs on the album and provided some behind the scenes. You will hear a lot of laughter in the podcast, a lot of insight about where the song lyrics came from and the inspiration, and also inspiration for some of the decisions that were made in the recording process in the studio. I recorded 
the whole album at Michael Kelsey's studio. And that was such a interesting experience. He played all of the various instrument tracks on my songs, with the exception of my friend Courtney Von Draley, who played accordion on the song Sanity's Edge. But other than that, all the other tracks are played by Michael. Those three men whom I have just mentioned are part of my music mastermind group, the Kelsey Greason Project. So there's one more thing that I want to share with you in terms of upcoming dates. We are playing our concert this year on October 7th. 2023 at the Arts Federation Theater. There are tickets available for that show out in Eventbrite. We had such a wonderful experience during our week-long music mastermind and workshop and rehearsal for the concert and played a concert at the end of that week last year, which was for a sellout crowd. And then we are repeating that process this year in October. If you're in the Lafayette area or want to drive to the Lafayette area for that concert, join us on October 7th. All right, I'm going to sign off a little bit of intro about season four of Agile Digital Business, an eclectic mix of things coming. I'm excited for sharing more with you about these topics that I'm fired up about right now and introducing you to some of my colleagues in these particular business spaces. Take care. <music>